Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here, my name is Kinsey. I'm a 23 year old lifestyle vlogger based in Dallas, I have a podcast, I do mainly vlogs, it's kind of like my, my bread and butter? Is that how you would use that phrase if that's like mainly what I do and that's what people like the most? I don't know, but I'm really into working out. Fitness has been honestly a really big part of my life, the majority of my life. I think the first few years I was in LA, I kind of took a break and then I really ramped it back up, guys. Now we are here. I wanted to make a video sharing my fitness routine. This is what I've been doing for really the past like two or three years, I want to say. Obviously, things have changed since we've back to Texas and being in COVID. There's been a lot of like Pilates space. We'll get into that stuff, okay? We will. Um, but I wanted to film this now because I think it might change a little bit this summer because I've been incorporating tennis and boxing kind of back in to my day to day. I always get questions, especially about Pilates and also share kind of like what I eat and answer some questions and whatever. I'm not gonna show you like every meal and like recreate it in this video just because it's on my Instagram reels and it's in like every single vlog. Also, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. If you guys are ever looking for good like recipes, smoothie recipes, food recipes, things like that. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok because that's kind of like where I share a lot more like food based content and on my vlogs. I actually went boxing today and my body is so weak. So I'm just trying to like bring myself back to life right now. Comment below what time it is where you guys are watching this video. So what I mainly do for working out now, I'm not on this crazy strict schedule. When I lived in LA, I went to Hot Pilates on Sunset Boulevard and that was like my favorite workout I've ever done to this day. Like nothing compared. I took with Daylight. And honestly, it was specifically like Daylight at Hot Pilates. It wasn't even just Hot Pilates. It was on average like 105 degrees, 55 minute workout, really, really freaking hard. But that's when I really felt like I toned up and also gained such a healthy relationship with working out. Not that I felt like I had a negative one before that, but I just truly loved Pilates and it just made me so happy. So I started going because of that. And then over time, I just got a lot stronger. I definitely toned up. I noticed a difference within at this point because I did it so much within like a week of going back to like training with Daylight. It just like changed my life. Also, Daylight is the absolute best. So Daylight was my Pilates instructor in LA. So when I moved to Texas and then COVID hit, I started doing Zoom classes and stuff with her. So we trained together when I'm in LA. I'll do Zoom sessions when I'm here with her. I'll do like her Zoom classes. So Pilates has been, I would say like the basis of my workouts and like my fitness routine for the past two or three years. And I will say that is the workout that has changed my body the most and made me feel the most confident. For me, working out was a lot more about like mental health and emotional emotional health than it is about like how I look, but obviously like that is a great benefit of working out. So if any of you guys want to, I will have a code and like we'll put something on the screen because I know she's gonna like give some sort of offer. Talk about her all the time and like any of you can train with her over Zoom or if you're in LA. She's training, she's not at Hot Pilates anymore, but you can still train with her. Something else that I've incorporated in the past, I wanna say, honestly probably like eight or nine months at this point. Maybe I'm like totally off on that. Lauren Geraldo's 12 through 30 workout. I I love that workout. I am not a runner. I went through a running phase last summer, short lived. That's just like not my kind of thing. And I'm really not even like a treadmill person, but 12 through 30 like completely changed that for me. It's a lot harder, especially when you start off than it sounds. And if you guys don't know, it's Lauren Gerardo's workout, incline of 12, speed of three for 30 minutes. It's gone viral on TikTok. I know people go to the gym and say like the only workout people are doing is 12, 3, 30, but I really love that. I have a um, TV in front of my treadmill, so I'll just watch YouTube videos. It can get boring, but you just have to switch up what you're watching. And then when you finish, you feel so good. And with a workout, like I want to leave, obviously feeling like I got a good workout and like physically it's good for me. I want to leave with like more clarity and almost like more confidence and just feeling good about life. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna get to the questions. This is gonna talk more about what I'm eating and all that stuff. Obviously, by the way, I'm not an expert. Like, I'm just sharing my experience and what I do. I'm not the like most fit person in the world. I'm not the healthiest person in the world. I'm not an expert, I'm not claiming to be. Just sharing some things. What workout do you do when you don't feel like working out? Honestly, I do 12 through 30 because it's completely mindless. Like, I just will go in, I'll do the workout, I'll watch some videos, and then I'm done. I get also get a lot of questions on is 12 through 30 the only workout I'll do for that day and it 
really just depends. I don't want my relationship with working out to be something that I dread doing. I really love working out. I do move like Monday through Friday every day. And a lot of it is just what I'm feeling. I'm not on some like crazy plan or training really hard right now currently. So it's not intense. It's a really long way of saying it really just depends on my mood for the day. Yesterday, I didn't feel like working out at all. I made myself go do 12, 3, 30, and then I did a Melissa would help workout. And that just made me feel so much better. I got sick and my legs have been feeling really weak ever since. So I was like, I don't know what's going on. So I worked out and that made me feel a lot better. But some days I will just do 12 through 30. Some days I'll just do Pilates with Daylight. Some days I'll combine the two. It depends on how much time I have and what I'm feeling. Do you take supplements or drink slash eat anything to help maximize a workout? No, I don't. I've really never, I mean, unless you count like a Celsius in a hot Pilates class, like I don't drink or do any of that. I, should I be doing that? I've always... I have a lot of questions about that. I don't know. I've never, I have like protein powders and stuff that have been sent to me, but I've never actually used them. So like, should I? Comment below. What brand is your treadmill? I want for my garage, but there are so many to pick. Mine is an order track, but I got them on Facebook Marketplace. So I got it for a really good deal. For me, I didn't really care about the brand of the treadmill. I just needed it to have an incline of 12. Keep that in mind when you're shopping, if you're looking for a treadmill to do 12 through 30, because a lot of treadmills will only go up to 10. How do you get the motivation for working out? This is like a reoccurring theme, I think, across my channel and podcast I think honestly a society as the world at large we rely way too much on emotions and Tim Grover actually said something that I felt like was so almost like profound and he was just saying that our minds have to be stronger than our emotions and I rely a lot more on disciplines than I do on motivation. With that being said, I think I've been off a little bit more in the past week or so because I was sick for a bit, but for the most part, I'm just a pretty disciplined person. I don't wake up excited to work out every single day. It's actually pretty rare that I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to work out, but I'm just disciplined. I know it's something that makes me feel so good, make me feel so much better about the day. I end up like performing better throughout the day and other like areas of my life. Do you have any new fitness goals? Not really. I feel like I was getting really fit, especially when I lived in LA and even for periods of time here. And now I'm just making sure I'm moving and doing workouts that like make me feel good. But I am trying to incorporate like activities as exercises. So like tennis is a good example. Um, I really loved boxing. I don't love boxing as much as I love Pilates, but what I do like about boxing is that it feels like I'm going to practice. Like as a kid, I grew up in North Texas and sports are like huge here. And so I miss the like routine of going to practice and getting better at a sport. And that's what I really love about boxing, but I think it's really fun. It's also just like a new challenge for me. Um, so I am gonna go do those things, but I wouldn't say it's like goals. Those are just like more things I wanna incorporate. Do you prefer to work out alone or with friends? Um, it depends. Like sometimes I'll have friends come work out with me in my gym and that's so fun, but like realistically times don't always work out and I will work out at really random hours throughout the day, um, depending on my work schedule. How do you, get to the point where you enjoy exercising. I think you just have to find a workout that you love. I wouldn't say I ever really loved working out until I found Hot Pilates. I would go do Soul Cycle. Actually, I love Soul Cycle too, but I would go do other things before that and I would just do it because I had to work out and then I started doing things like Soul Cycle, which I also love um, and then I found Hot Pilates and that just like changed the game for me. So I think you just have to find what works for you. What are some of your go-to meals? Okay, I'm going to share this. I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not a pro. I don't know what I'm talking about. It changes. I would just say like some of my solid go-to meals. I make avocado toast on day's bread like pretty much every single morning and I like look forward to that. I also make this pasta that I got the recipe I want to say for Melissa would help and it's brown rice pasta with eggplant Rayo's Rouse Rayo's uh, marinara sauce and then cheese that is so good like I've never ever even craved eggplant. whoever like wants to eat eggplant I feel like that's such a random food but it is so good. I make that meal like probably like three or four times a week. I also do like a one pan salmon. So I do a lot of salmon and broccoli and those meals just make me feel good. My main thing though that I've noticed is as long as I'm cooking at home, I feel 10 times better than if I'm eating out all the time, which is hard because on weekends, like I go eat out with friends all the time. But I really try to cook mainly here during the week when I can, because that's what makes me feel the best. So I'm not some crazy nutritionist. I try to eat the best that I can. Also, I'm getting some questions about workout clothing. So if you guys want me to do a video on workout clothes, whether it's like Set Active versus Fabletics or whatever, I have pretty much every single brand. Like I'm, I've really gained quite the collection. 
fitness faves. I love my Bala bangles. Those are so good. Um, I should wear them more than I do. I go on walks a lot as well. Something I forgot to mention, I do go on walks a lot and I should just wear them during my walks, but I'll wear them a lot during Pilates. I guess some of my hydro drug counts, um, uh, it's over there. It's in every vlog and I literally have it all the time. It's a half gallon of water. They're a podcast sponsor. I want to say, and I have a code and that will be on the screen. I love my hydro drug. It makes me drink so much water. Okay, so how to stay motivated and consistent. So again, like I said, we're not relying on motivation anymore. We're relying on discipline girls and boys. But I will say when you're getting into it and you're starting, I think it's really good to do it with a friend and make it like a fun thing to do, whether you're going to a workout class or you're just like working out at home together. Making it like more of a social thing is really good. The second thing is putting it in your calendar. Even when I work out from home, it's in my calendar. Like, yes, it will change throughout the day, but I will always put it in my calendar before, depending on like when I work out. Finding a workout you like and then just sticking to it. Something that Ed Milet said that I always think about is he said you build confidence on making a promise to yourself and keeping it. So if I tell myself like, oh, I'm going to go do this today or I'm gonna go get this done or whatever it might be, I'm slowly building confidence as I do those tasks because I begin to trust myself and trust is such a big thing with confidence. So yeah, I think you just have to commit at the end of the day and make the decision every single day that you're going to do or however long, many days, two days a week, whatever it is, um, that you're gonna go work out and get it done. Small healthy habits you do, like I said, I'm not the healthiest person in the entire world. Okay, I try to cook and eat at home as much as possible. I drink a lot of water for my hydro jug and I make sure I get movement every single day. I'm not crazy hard on myself. I don't expect myself to be like an Olympian or to be really extreme about it, but I just try to make sure I'm moving, I'm feeding myself better food and I'm drinking a lot of water. That's pretty much it. I don't try to overdo it. And I think sometimes when you start working out, you'll get overwhelmed and then that's when you kind of get off track because you're being like a little bit too extreme about it. Like if you don't work out ever and you try to say, I'm gonna go from working out zero days a week to seven, like that I think is just gonna cause you to burn out. I would start at like three days a week and then kind of build up from there. Do you weigh yourself? No. So I don't personally weigh myself, but I am not on like a weight loss journey or anything like that. I don't think it's a bad thing as long as you have a healthy relationship with it. All right guys, that is it for my fitness routine. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see down below and comment down below what your favorite workout is. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. My agent calls me and she's like, they're offering you more money. And I was like, do they not understand what no means? I said, no, I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. No. And I learned some lovely negotiation skills. <laughs> Say no.